This is Tom Duty, middle-aged American, living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you'd type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. Bill Nunn, the best actor. The actor best known for his roles as Radio Rahim in Do the Right Thing and Da 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 Man in New Jack City. Died Saturday at 62 by Daniel Krebs. Krebs by Daniel Krebs for the Rolling Stone. Fight the powders. Fight the power. Spike Lee, do the right thing. Spike Lee, Nunn's friend from Morehouse College, who cast the actor in 1988 School Days, Nunn's first role, first announced that Nunn had died on Saturday morning. The Pittsburgh Post-Gazette also reported that sources close to the city's theater community and Dunn's family confirmed the actor's death. No cause of death was provided. My dear friend, my dear Morehouse brother, the great actor Bill Nunn, as most of you know as Radio Rahim, passed away this morning in his hometown of Pittsburgh, Lee wrote. Long live Bill Nunn. Radio Rahim is now resting in power. Radio Rahim was always be fighting to power. That be, may God watch over Bill Nunn. Bill Nunn was a friend, yet I knew him as such an accomplished actor who led Spike Lee's renaissance of black cinema roles. Chuck D. tells Rolling Stone, the role of Radio Rahim is symbolic logo for public enemies fight the power. The groups in said diary 1989 classic became both the primary soundtrack cut off do the right thing and Radio Rahim's de facto anthem. It was at Morehouse that Nunn discovered his passion for acting and considered a career in political science and majoring in English. His father, William Nunn, was a journalist and NFL scout for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I didn't know what the heck I wanted to do, Nunn told the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette in 2007. When I got that theater bug... That was my heart. That's what I found I had passion for. A year after school days, Lee cast Nunn in the actor's most memorable role as the boombox-toting, public-enemy-blasting Radio Rahim in the director's 1989 breakout Do the Right Thing. The actor also appeared in Lee Mo. Better Blues, and he got game. Nunn was also known for his role in Stuttering Enforcer in the 1991 gangster film New Jack City. I still get da 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 man in the grocery store and all of that to this day, 25 years later. Once a week, if not more, Nunn told Earweb in April, I get a lot of da-da-da man love. I don't think it's taken over Radio Rahim, but it's become really memorable, thought to people. Although Nunn's physically imposing figure made him a natural fit for tough guy roles, the actor showcased his softer side in films like Regarding Henry, Legend of 1900, and the Tobey Maguire starring Spider-Man trilogy, where Nunn played sympathetic Daily Bugle editor Robbie Robertson. This text is from Daniel Kreps of the Rolling Stone. 
Rolling Stone Magazine. This has been Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. Rest in peace, Bill Nunn. Ciao.